Stop writing ServiceNow code like this. This one modern JavaScript feature will make you 10 times more efficient in 2025. Last sprint, our junior dev pushed a business rule that looped through 40,000 records the old way. ServiceNow timed out, the CEO got the error email, and the whole team had to work Saturday. I deleted his 47 line for loop and replaced it with two words, map and reduce. Same logic, one pass, zero timeouts. Wait, what? Two words beat a wall of code? Here's the trick. Old style, load every record, if check each one, push matches into a temp array, second loop to update. New style, chain glide record straight into array dot from, then dot map to shape the data, dot reduce to roll it up. One statement, one database hit, ServiceNow 2025 ships with ES12, so those array methods live server-side, no client drama. Bonus, arrow functions auto-bind scope, saving you that self-distance. I timed it 2.3 seconds versus 94. That's a 40 times speed up on production data. But the real magic, readability. New devs glance at the chain and know exactly what's happening. No mystery variables, no nested braces, no why is I 41 bugs at 2 a.m. And next stand up, the junior dev demoed the refactor. He clicked run, the progress bar flashed green, and the product owner literally applauded. He went from Saturday hero to Monday legend using JavaScript, not wizard plugins. Uh, so are you still nesting loops like it's 2015? Is it time to let map and reduce do the heavy lifting? Uh, drop a if you're upgrading this week or comment the gnarliest loop you've ever killed.